dear seventh semester AI STEAM students, I welcome you all into my channel. Hope you are all doing well and hope you are preparing for your examinations. So this video is going to be very important for you students. I will be discussing here the passing package for you. Those who want to pass this subject can refer this passing package, right? So subject code is 21AI71. Subject name is Advanced AI ML. So let me discuss over here the passing package for you students. So there are three passing modules, first one, second and third one. These are comparatively easier than uh, fourth and fifth module. So those students who want to pass only can refer three modules fully and taking two, two questions from rest of the modules. So those who want to score can refer these important questions of all the modules. So in the module first, we are having uh, these important questions define intelligent agents explain with examples uh, the interaction between agents and environments and differentiate between simple reflex agents model based agents goal based agents and utility based agents with suitable diagrams so as far as notes are concerned link will be available in the description box you can refer those particular notes right next one we have what is rationality in intelligent agents explain with the p's performance environment actuator sensors framework discuss the factors that affect an agent's rationality and uh, classify environments based on their properties fully observable versus partially observable deterministic versus stochastic episodic versus sequential etc with examples and next one we have explained the architecture of agents how does it influence the performance of intelligent agents and describe uniform search strategies for example breadth first search depth first search provide example and ex explain informal search strategies like a star algorithm discuss its heuristic function with example as this is super important question next one we have explain the minimax explain the minimax algorithm with an example how does it ensure optimal decision making in a zero sum game last question from the module first is discuss the alpha beta pruning technique how does it optimize the minimax algorithm provide a suitable example coming to the model second we are having here why is uncertainty important in ai and explain examples what are the axioms of probability how do they form the foundation of uncertain reasoning explain decision theory and its components utility theory and probability theory in the context of uncertain reasoning define and explain the following with examples random variables events joint probability distribution marginal distribution sorry marginal probability how are conditional probabilities represented using probability notation provide an example define and explain the concept of independence and conditional independence in probability theory discuss the difference between dependent and independent events with real world scenarios eighth question we are having state base rule and explain its significance in probabilistic reasoning what is the role of prior and likelihood in bayesian interface and the WAMPS world environment and its challenges for reasoning under uncertainty so these are some important questions from your model second now coming to the model third what are neural networks explain their basic structure and components and what is a perceptron explain its architecture with a neat diagram construct the gradient descent algorithm for training a linear unit what is back propagation most important one derive the algorithm and explain its significance in training neural networks discuss the prototypical genetic algorithm in detail define genetic programming and discuss representing programs in genetic programming what are the limitations of single layer perceptrons and how do multi-layer networks overcome them explain the role of activation functions in neural networks providing examples of their properties discuss the concept of hypothesis space search and its uh, relevance to genetic algorithms compare models of evolution and learning in genetic algorithms so these are the 10 questions from your model third now coming to the rest of the two modules so for those students as i earlier said who want to pass only can refer three modules fully and taking three three questions from uh, fourth and fifth module those who want to score can refer all the important questions which is obviously a way to score good in the subject so module four we have identified the matrix used to generate association rules with example discuss the item based similarity in collaborative filtering with an example explain user based similarity using the surprise library and provide a snippet of code and explain matrix factorization with an example explain the bag of words model in text analysis discuss the navy base model for sentiment classification in the text analysis which becomes the most important one over here list and explain the challenges of text analytics explain the tfidf vectorizer in text analysis 
last two questions we are having what are the critical steps in building a recommender system and what data sets are commonly used provide an overview of text analytics and its uh, applications in ai coming to the last module fifth we are having here some questions like list and explain the classification of clustering algorithms explain the different steps of the k-means algorithm with an example super important one draw the flow chart of the agglomerative algorithm and explain it in detail explain the k-nearest neighbor algorithm for approximating a discrete value function which is again a super important one derive a locally weighted linear regression with an example construct a radial basis function network with weights how do partitioning methods example k-means k-medioids differ from hierarchical clustering techniques discuss the use of k nearest neighbor for both classification and regression tasks how does locally weighted uh, regression adapt to change it uh, change in input data compare and contrast radial basis function network with traditional neural networks so these are all super important questions from your first subject advanced a and ml so make sure you will go through these questions thoroughly writing down the keywords and the answers and try to understand them in your own convenient language so that it will be easy for you students to cover at least 90% uh, syllabus all right so i wish you all the best for your examinations uh, make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you